All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot. Welcome back to another Team Battle Fights episode. Today, we've got Team Little Guys. I put Team Little Guy together. We got Chaozu. We got Daima Goku, aka, aka Goku Mini. We've got Goldo standing at one foot, one inch tall. Super Saiyan Goten, Super Saiyan Trunks all on the same team. And they're going to go up against opponents of similar stature. We have Team Giants. I went ahead and went with Dr. Wheelo, Fat Nimba. Uh, Grade 8 Vegeta on account of he won our big Giants tournament that we did last week. We got Hyrudagarn, who also did very well, and Anilzilla, because he has the most stats in the game. We did have to leave off Little Slug, Grade 8 Baby Vegeta, who's been in a bunch of videos, and a, another Giant or two, but I'm okay with that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's up. Team Little Guy versus Team Giants. Oh yeah, Team Giants are going to be able to grab this time. So we're starting off Dr. Wheelo versus Chiaotzu. I have no equal. Oh, this is a song at the beginning of it sounds like I Need a Hero. By Funny Tyler down. from Shrek 2. Okay, this is really messed up. It's making me look at this from the perspective of the big guys. I would much prefer the perspective of the little guys because it's hard to see around the big guys. But whatever, we'll see what happens. So, team big guys are going to have a huge health advantage because little guys tend to have less health and giants have an extra bar. But Dodon Ray, and just like that, Chaozu's only done a bar. Chaozu's been hit exactly twice, by the way. Chaozu paralyzed Dr. Wheelow. Chaozu's paralysis beam worked on Dr. Wheelow. That's nuts. Did not expect that to happen. So if Team Little Guy wants any hope in the world of winning this, they're going to have to spam a lot of supers, but I think more importantly, they're going to have to swap out a lot to keep their health up. They're going to have to do a lot of making up in the health department uh, with team with teamwork because they are going to be at such a disadvantage. I think in total, they're probably down like seven health bars compared to the other team. Paralysis beam works on Dr. Wheelow again, but he doesn't hit him with a Dodon Ray with the open shot. Chaozu staying out of range, picking his moment to attack. He's doing his best out here. Chaozu with a bar and a half, charging up key. He tried the paralysis beam again. This time, Dr. Willow snap vanishes it, and Chaozu down to only one bar of health now. Dr. Willow literally smacking him around. Dodon Ray not blocked by Dr. Willow. Chaozu, look out! No! Chaozu, you gotta tag out, little man. You've done great, but you gotta tag out, little man. Please. Please have a brain. We are, of course, testing the AI on strong instead of on super. Shoutsu blocking the chip damage. Countering with a move of his own. Dodon Ray connects. Got Dr. Willow done to two bars. Is Shoutsu gone here? The key blast. Dr. Willow knows he can put Shoutsu away with just one key blast connecting. Shoutsu is somehow staying alive. Switch out, little man. Switch. Dr. Willow. Can't charge. Oh, and Chaozu's grab. Chaozu almost went sparking, got grabbed out of it. And that's one down for Team Little Guy. In comes Daima Goku. Uh, as I was saying, we've been experimenting with running the AI on strong difficulty instead of super. I know it sounds counterproductive to lower the difficulty, uh, but it's, they seem to be functioning a little bit more aggressively. We have instances of a lot of like... Ooh, that's bad. That's bad damage. Uh, we have a couple instances of a lot of times they're just not moving or they're not uh, attacking. They're not being very aggressive on super difficulty. And the reason for that appears to be because the CPU is a very wait and react CPU. The higher up you go in the difficulty setting. So we're trying strong for a while to see. We want to keep that high intensity, but we want them to be even more aggressive while like still being a pretty solid AI in terms of like when they use supers, how aggressive they are, when they are able to snap vanish supers, you know, how good their defense is, things like that. We don't want no defense, but what we had before was too much. So we're hoping the new difficulty setting helps a little bit. Daimagoku blocking the chip damage. Daimagoku could take out Dr. Wheelow right here if Dr. Wheelow doesn't want to tag out either. Uh, Dr. Wheelow getting good damage off on Daima Goku, but Team Little Guy needs to start mounting the comeback, and a being able to take Dr. Wheelow down would do wonders. Good counter by Wheelow. Keeping himself and his team in this. Don't let him tag out. Don't let him tag out. Daima Goku. He's got Wheelow down so low, but the reach that... The reach Wheelow has is just so heavy, and the damage Daima Goku does per hit is so little. If he's not hitting super attacks, he's not doing damage. Hit him before he tags out. Please hit him before he tags out. Get him, get him. He's one shot, a key blast, anything. Power pole extension. Uh, he can't grab it. I was gonna say grab it, he can't grab it. Daima Goku, I'm begging you. Do not let this guy tag out. Please extend the power pole. Key blast, punch him in the chest literally one time. Thank God. And Fat Nimba has entered the fray. And oh my God, that is five full bars of health. 
And he's belly bumping Daimagoku, who's down to one bar of health. Fat Nemba charging. I think he fires Key Blast out of the holes in his body. Shoot Fat Nemba just took down a whole building by sitting on top of it. Daimagoku getting a couple hits in. Oh my god, it's so little damage. Daimagoku might be the weakest competitor for Team Little Guy because he can't spam any Key Blasts or anything. Fat Nemba powering up. Daimagoku just kind of watching. Yeah, he shoots Key Blasts out of the holes in his body. Daimagoku. Got behind Fat Nemba. Hit him a little bit. Again, just chipping away. Any damage he can get here is good damage. Uh, it would be even better if he tagged out. Could save his health. It's weird. Last fight we did, we had a lot of very, like, instinct in tune tag outs. And on this one, we've had no tag outs at all so far. Fat Nemba trying to chip away. Running up, as one does. If Daimagoku takes another health bar out of Fat Nemba, I'd say he did his job. It still leaves Team Little Guy down quite a bit, but taking on Dr. Wheelo and getting some damage dealt on Fat Nemo before going down, and then hoping the rest of your teammates just do better than you did. Did I turn tag off by mistake? I don't think so. Um, I didn't even touch those settings on this one, so I shouldn't have. Daimagoku buffed himself. Fat Nemba. Key Blast Barrage. Daimagoku able to block most of it. A lot of it missed. Daimagoku about two tapped here. Or one big punch from Fat Nemba. Knocks Fat Nemba down and crashes through a building, killing thousands, but any damage you can get, and now Daimagoku is literally one shot. Able to work Fat Nemba down quite a bit. Kind of going for the Hail Mary. Tag out if you can. Maybe I did turn tag outs off. If I did, though, I kind of like this. If I turn tag outs off, it's going to make these fights go a lot quicker. Daimagoku bouncing Fat Nemba around, winning the Snap Vanish War with literally one health. He's getting working. Bust himself again. I think he charges quicker. Oh, the Key Blast connects and Daimagoku goes down. In comes Goldo. With no more than three health bars. Fat Nimba can't find him. There he is. Oh, and tag outs are on. Janim tags out. And welcome champion of the tournament, Grade 8 Vegeta. Who immediately gets a rock thrown at him. Goldo completely whiffing on a... Paralysis beam there, it looked like. Paralysis level attack. They're both charging. Key Blast just deflected to the moon. I like picking the city maps when giants are involved because it means they crush through buildings like Godzilla, by the way. You cannot turn off tagging in CPU versus CPU. You can only turn off tagging in tournament mode. Good to know. Good to know. Big kick by Goldo. Goldo's charging. Is Goldo going to be able to go sparking? Does Goldo even have a sparking attack he can land, or is it a weird rush attack? Goldo, big chip damage, but he was able to block all of it. And Goldo, classic CPU, goes sparking, then tags out before using it. In comes Goten. Now, the one opportunity, the, the win condition, I believe, and it's not an instant win condition, it just gives them a real shot. Maybe even makes them the favorites. For Team Little Guy to pull this off, I did intentionally leave the Gotenks door open. I did intentionally make it to where Gotenks could become a possibility here. Another Kamehameha, another nobody home. Grade 8 Vegeta able to easily evade it. But if Goten and Trunks manage to fuse and we get a Gotenks, that I think is Team Little Guy's key to winning this. Look at the size difference, dude. Goten is so small compared to Big Vegeta. Fusing could end badly here because it would mean it's a 2v4. I mean, the last team fight we did, we saw a lot of tagging even when it was down to two members. But what it would also give is Goten and Trunks, or Gotenks at that point, a huge health bar. Their hits are way harder. A really good spammable ultimate if they think they're able to pull it off. Uh, Goten is dead. I don't know where Goten is, but Vegeta just went sparking. That's bad news. Vegeta went sparking, just crashing through buildings. Goten upping his defense, smart. When you got an opponent in sparking mode, you're trying to stay alive. Goten knocked back by explosive wave. Vegeta about to run out of sparking. Goten tooling up on him from the back, gets yelled at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Super attack, Goten block. Goten's had a lot of damage. And Team Big Guy just dominating this fight. Goten again, opting to buff up. Ooh, Fat Nemba tags back in. 
Goten, you gotta tag out, little man. You can't go down or the or the Goten stream is dead. Still buff perma buffing his defense though, but would like to see a tag out of a Goten. It's crazy the giant is tagging out better than the little guy team is. Bat Nemba getting knocked around here. It's so hard because you can't see little Goten. Goten doing a good job reflecting those key blasts. I don't mind him raising his defense. Good combo, Goten. All right. Go, look at Goten go, and he snap banished it. Trying to do a follow up combo, but it's a little awkward with how big those big guys are. Both charging, fat him, and making sure Goten can't go sparking. Can you even go between Fat Janimba's legs? I doubt it. Go 10 down to one bar of health now. Would assume Go 10 charges quicker, but maybe not. And the yell, it took a quarter of the damage, and I was hoping that was Go 10 tapping out, but the big team appears to also be the smarter team. Kame Kame Ha hit. Please tag out, Go 10. Go 10, I'm begging. Vegeta's gonna, yeah, Vegeta's gonna get the full power first. Goten. Please, Goten. Did he die? The Giants tag out again and no tag out from Goten still. He kicks Harutagar into the curb. And he doesn't go sparking either. Goten might be one of the dumbest little guys I've ever seen. Hits another Kamehameha though. Kicking Heidi around, but that's gonna be all she wrote if this hits. Goten blocks it. Please tag out, kid. I'm begging you. If he would go sparking, he'd be more likely to tag out. And I think that's why he's not doing it. Goten blocks literally one health. Literally exactly one health. Please, kid! Please! He just doesn't want the little guys to win. Back comes Goldo. And it is going to be up to Kid Trunks and Goldo to win this one. Uh oh. I don't know what Goldo was trying to do, but he got was a mouthful of death ray. And he tags into Trunks, and it is it is actually just Kid Trunks out here. So hopefully Kid Trunks has a spammable super or something. And it's not going well because he's already getting knocked around by Vegeta. Vegeta just landed on a car. Belonged to a family of four. Hirudagarn comes in. Uh oh. And Trunks eats the entire blast. It's not looking pretty for Team Little Guy. So much for the fusion. You know what we could do? We could run this back and put Gotenks already fused on the team. The problem with that is he only gets a little health bar buff, not a big one. And then we add another competitor to Team Little Guy. If we were to do the run back. Because it would require a fusion to pull this off. Oh, that attack can't even connect. Super attack lands, but if you hit it on a big guy, you just bounce off of him and do very little damage. All right. Trunks is doing his damnedest to tune up on baby Vegeta, though, but that's still just so much health you got to chip away at. And you, the little guys do so little. If it's not a super attack, they do so little damage for every hit they land on a big dude. Hard to combo them. The big guys are... Yeah, the big guys just have such a huge advantage here. Goten may have tagged. No, nah, Goten definitely died. Goten definitely ate shit and died. That's Kofi you're living on to. Big Rock, blocked by Heidi. Can Goldo be the savior the world needed to defeat all of the giants? Rock. Blocked by Heidi. Goldo getting knocked around out there. Goldo getting knocked around out there. All right, Goldo broke through the super armor. Doing a little damage here. Goldo gonna make it to sparking. Uh oh. Goldo's in range? No, he isn't. He's just outside of range and he blocks. What is Goldo's ultimate even? 
Goldo sizing up Heidi. Heidi snap vanishes to no avail. All right, Goldo steps out of sparking, never actually got to use a super, paralyzes Heidi, and then tags into Trunks. Is it a tree throw? Is it the tree throw spike thing? Trunks barely on top of that one. Right in the back of Heidi's head, and Hyrudegarn's down to one bar of health. After Trunks lands his special move, Trunks has no key left at all. Nothing to snap vanish with here. He's just going to get knocked around unless he starts charging. Hyrudegarn, a bit of an explosive wave of his own. Spamming key blast at Trunks right now. And Hyrudegarn tags out. Trunks tags out. Back comes the champ. Goldo throws the rocket Vegeta. It hits. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Now Goldo's charging again. Throw another rock at him. Or charge. Well, don't hide behind that thing. Explosive wave. Vegeta has zero skill points right now. Goldo just punched him in the head. Goldo just punched Vegeta in the side of the head. Now he's at the back. Good snap at his Goldo. Lighting up Vegeta. Paralysis beam misses as the tag out to Jadimba happens. If the big guys weren't so good at tagging out, this fight would actually be insanely close right now. Like, if they were even at tagging out, this fight would actually be really close. Important to note, though, Ankelzilla has not even stepped onto the playing field yet. Team Little Guys, I think, are down to two guys now. But Anelzilla has not even made an appearance. Oh, speak of the devil. Here he comes. Now we got devil versus God. Anelzilla with his cheeks hanging out and everything. Gets paralyzed. What are you doing, Step Goldo? Tag into Trunks. Look at the teamwork. But then Anelzilla comes out big elbow. Trunks fighting it. Trunks going tit for tit with Anelzilla, which is bad for the little guys. Dash attack just bounces off him again. It did like an eighth of a bar of damage between an eighth and a fourth. An eighth and a fourth. I guess a sixth you would call that. It's crazy is that Goldo is canonically stronger than Grade Eight Vegeta. This is true. This is true. Just gives you something to think about. Analzilla almost went sparking. Trunks came in to break it up, but he might regret that because Analzilla is just screaming in his face right now. Trunks knocks him away. You got to charge, kid. I would like to see the computer focus more on going sparking, but maybe that's just me being selfish. Maybe that wouldn't make them a better AI. Trunks able to avoid the scream this time, but the ground and pound game, Trunks is about to be completely out of it. Analzilla just too, his stats are too high. He's doing too much. Trunks blows up. You got a tag, kid. And there goes Trunks, and he's gone. Goldo versus the world right now. Goldo, man, Goldo could have gone sparking. Analzilla can't find him. He can tweak the camera all the way out, but he can't find Goldo. But Goldo's going to find Analzilla. Goldo brings the fight to Analzilla and scares him away immediately. He's like, oh, fuck, is that the goat Goldo? I got to get out of here. Janimba yells himself. Uh-oh, ultimate out of Janimba. He missed. Thank God for Goldo's sake, he missed. He is buffed right now, though. Goldo, rock throw. I think Janimba blocked it. Trading blows between charging and key blasts. And the Giants doing something Goldo can't anymore, and that's tagging out. So it's charging. Vegeta's a little bit further along. Vegeta would have hit sparking first. Goldo finally breaks through the super armor. Not quite. Vegeta yells out of it. Just as Goldo broke through the super armor, Vegeta just got himself more super armor. I want to see Janimba's ult because it looks cool. I haven't seen it yet. It would have been neat to see, but it would have been the end of Goldo as we know it. And who knows? Goldo might be able to mount this comeback. Goldo getting knocked away, almost going through a building. Vegeta, uh-oh, Vegeta's gone sparking. Uh-oh. Goldo, I think he... He did not block that. Goldo got absolutely lit the hell up. And it's all over but the crying folk. It wasn't an ultimate. It was a super attack. 
Goldo firing off a of paralysis beam the exact opposite direction of where he should be. Janimba fire breathing. Goldo snap banished it. The will to fight is still on in this one. Goldo snap banished Giga Kick. Blocked by Goldo. Janimba keeps trying to charge and Goldo keeps being a dick. Just hitting him with Key Blast. Goldo has broken through the super armor. Whiffing a big paralysis beam, it's all over. He's too tapped at this point, people. Oh no. And the chip damage, Goldo's one shot. He blocked it, but he's literally one shot. And there's the big right hand and Goldo flies into the dirt. Still alive? Well, you won't be for much longer. And the Giants mop up. I'm kind of interested in running this one back where we give Team Little Guy uh, go tinks and then maybe add another competitor. I'll, I'll look into that real quick. Okay, we're back and I made some changes to Team Little Guy. I wanted to buff him a little bit. So first of all, we removed Daima Goku, aka Goku Mini, because he didn't even have Key Blast and it just really felt like he was struggling out there not being able to spam any supers or anything like that. So we've taken out Daima Goku. We, re we replaced him with Super Saiyan 3 Goku from GT. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we've also merged Goten and Trunks, so they just already are Gotenks. And in exchange, we've added Bobbity to the team as well. Uh, Bobbity's not a great fit, on account of he does have some rushing super attacks and rushing ultimate or whatever. But he is the shortest person on the entire roster, I believe. He's floating right now and still not taller than anyone else. So I feel like I had to add Bobbity for the sake of Team Little Guy. But let's see if Team Little Guy can do any better on the run back here. Once again, Dr. Wheelow versus Chiaotzu start. It's also entirely possible that Team Little Guy is just better at tagging out no on the second round. I'm a strong fighter like all my friends. He's a strong fighter like all of his friends. Dr. Wheelow versus Chiaotzu. Chiaotzu not even moving, using the AFK strat, seeing if that works. Got kicked around a little bit, and they're both just sizing each other up. <laughs> I like that. I like that moment of like, hmm, will you move or will I move? All right, Chiaotzu destroying a couple trees. Not a big fan of wildlife or plant life out here in these streets. Chiaotzu begin to charge just to flex on uh, Dr. Wheelow. Something Dr. Wheelow can't do is charge up. Counter punch by Chiaotzu. And the main thing with starting to combo the, the giants I've learned is that you have to break their super armor. Every giant has some layer of super armor. So you have to hit them a few times before that cracks. But once that cracks, you can start the combo machine. Shotsu is also honestly like a perfect response. If he can actually land a couple of these Dodon Rays, the Dodon Rays do big damage. They're easy to charge up for. They come out very quickly. But he can't telegraph it so much that Dr. Wheelow is just ready for it. Paralysis Beam. He can also Paralysis Beam into Dodon Ray spam if he wants to be smart with it. But they've each taken a health bar off of each other, which is of course a huge advantage for Dr. Wheelow just having more health in general. Shoutsu, a little cannonball roll. But again, if he goes in and punches Dr. Willow a few times, but lets Dr. Willow punch him a couple times, it's his loss. Because not only does Willow have more health so he can go both blow for blow in the first place, Dr. Willow's punches just do more damage. Unfortunately, Willow being an android type or a robot-esque doesn't take time to charge, but he did let Chiaotzu get his ultimate. Now, Chiaotzu cannot goodbye Tien, any of the big guys. He can dote on Ray. this is smart. Dote on Ray and it connects big damage. But he can't goodbye Tien because that's a grapple super and he wouldn't be allowed to blow himself up on a giant, which is unfortunate. I feel like he should be allowed to do that. And it would be really funny. He's behind him. Another Dote on Ray and Chiaotzu chipping away at Dr. Wheelow here. Rolling ball kicks him away. Here comes another. Dodon on Ray this time, it's blocked. Shoutsu down to one health bar, but he's got Dr. Wheelow down to two. And considering the health bar discrepancy when they start, Shoutsu snap vanished it, but he snap vanished into the balls. He tried to dodge it, snap vanished into the balls, and now it's Goldo. Dr. Wheelow, still two bars of health. Goldo steps onto the field. Took Wheelow a minute. Wheelow finds him and then goes sparking. Goldo's directly below him, and his, his blast can't even connect there, so... Goldo is totally fine. Dr. Wheelow not going to do his ulti, but he will spam this super attack a second time. Goldo blocks it. Chip damage comes off. 
Now, Goldo was kind of the MVP of last round for Team Little Guy, even if they didn't end up winning. We'll see if he follows suit this time. Big rock attack connects. Dr. Wheelow down to one health bar. Goldo, good counter. Bit of a stare down. Wheelow sidesteps. Buildings being destroyed left, right, and center. And Goldo almost collapsed the bridge with that one. I guess he didn't do it. Dr. Willow made him. The Key Blast tried to break up the sparking, but his super armor let him go sparking anyway, despite a Key Blast hitting him in the middle of his charge. This is how strong these big guys are. Point blank, rock, blocked, but it did stall out Willow so he couldn't ultimate anymore. Goldo. Again, even when he blocks, the chip damage is just so nasty from those. Goldo trading blows, gets through the super armor. Gets through the super armor on Wheelow, kicks him away. Doesn't need to follow up because Goldo takes down Wheelow. All right, can the little guys mount the comeback? Janimba comes flying in. Goldo tags out, really smart. Here comes Bobbity, newest edition. We'll see how Bobbity. Bobbity actually did surprisingly well. If you guys saw that massive tournament video I did, it's an hour and a half long on this channel. Uh, it was one of the first. It was actually the first CPU thing I did in this game. I unlocked every character, and I did a massive tournament video with every character in the game who wasn't a giant. Uh, Bobbity against non-giants actually overperformed. He beat, I think he beat two people. Advanced two rounds, and it was people he was not supposed to be beating. So if Bobbity overperforms here the same way he overperformed there, he could actually be an equalizer here in the fight against Team Giants. He is pretty good at spam firing off Key Blast when the time is right. He's good at go at sparking, although I believe his ultimate is a uh, charging ultimate, so he would not be able to land it on a giant. Firing off Key Blast. Oh, there we go. Breaks through the super armor momentarily. And he's actually chipped away at Janimba pretty well, hang hanging out between his legs. That's my cue. There's that charging super I talked about. He hits him. He does a little damage, but he bounces right off. I wonder if Bobbity could control Janimba. Uh-oh, Heidi tagged in. Heidi tags in and immediately... Ooh, all right. Good job, Bobby. Bobby actually blocked that. He took the chip damage, but then he instantly tagged out. Now we see Gotenks, the one we wanted to see all along last time. Gotenks comes into play. Gotenks in that same tournament I was just talking about was a spammer. Die, die, missile barrage. Heidi eats all of it, takes almost his first health bar down. Gotenks actually equalizes the health a little bit as Gotenks also starts off with bonus health, which Team Little Guy needs because they're at a massive health disadvantage. Kind of getting batted around by Heidi here, though. Aruda Garn, shoulder check, just swinging. Gotenks has to do something in the way of offense. Well, now he's got to keep guarding because he didn't guard. He guarded for 20 minutes until he needed to guard to block the super attack and then didn't. Smart of him to get out of there. And one Super Saiyan 3 and another. This is GT Goku stepping onto the field. Little guy in Super Saiyan 3 form getting knocked around. Goku now between the legs, double snap vanish, and Fat Nimba's back out. Fat Nimba basically full health. Good God, that is horrifying. Cannon fight. Oh, Gotenks versus Hirudagarn. Technically Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Hirudagarn as well, although it's a different Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Breaking through the super armor. Janimba with that big, dumb, goofy look on his face, but Goku now charging. Goku, ooh, couldn't quite go to sparking, got interrupted by the Key Blast. Knocked away, Goku peppering Fat Nimba. And now kicking him around, good work by Goku. Tries to complete the combo, couldn't quite get it. Goku charging up again. All right, a die die missile barrage of his own, just a little bit of chip damage though, didn't really get all of that. One. Goku knocked away, blasted a little bit. If he could take out Janimba here, that would be huge. He needs an ultimate at this stage, though. Good block! I'm a little upset that combo doesn't connect, because he's missing a lot of damage by that combo just not connecting. And Nimba getting a little scared having to tag out. Now Goku going to work on Vegeta. Both charging. Goku's buffed himself, but not defensively. So if he's doing damage, he's doing more damage. But if he's taking hits, he's taking the same amount of damage. 
Good combo. Can Goku get sparking off this? No, they love using that key blast to interrupt sparking, which is good for them. It's just I want to see I want to see Ultimates. I want to see the sparking. Goku's doing great. He's getting his health chipped away. They will work him down and take him out, especially if they stay efficient with their tagging. But Goku is doing wonderful. Again, the Giants out here. Goku charging. And again, they tag out. They're scared of him. But if they keep tagging and Goku won't, then they're going to work him down off teamwork alone. Off teamwork and super armoring a couple punches alone, they're going to work him down. He's down to less than a bar of health, and Hyrudegarn does a lot of damage per hit. Goku needs to tag out here if he wants Team Little to have any chance of winning this one. Hyrudegarn just went sparking. Goku playing pretty stupidly. Uh-oh. Goku able to block it. Snap Vanish Wars, he can't lose this or he's gone. Blast it in the face, he blocks it, literally one health. Literally one health, please tag out Goku. And he tagged out! Goku tagged out, Goldo's in. I think he tagged out. I hope he's not eliminated. Goldo in here with two bars of health, Hyrudegarn with four. Goldo tags out, Gotenks back in. That's smart for uh, Goldo, he gets more health up. Gotenks buffs himself. Nox hiding around. I think he died. I'm going to be so upset if Goku died. Double charge. Hyrudegarn keen on letting Gotenks go ultimate. Or hit sparking. Die die missile barrage. He snap vanishes. Oh, that is gross. Snap vanishes in the super breath. And Gotenks going to power down. And you got to wonder what the game plan is here. Powers down and appears to be frozen. Oh, there we go. He finally moved, jumped up, and got punched. Powering down might not be the smartest. Blocks the attack, but we need some kind of offense. Gotenks charging. Hyrudegarn charging. Gotenks almost goes sparking. Baits him in. Baits him in. Do, uh, they don't do the Big Bang Kamehameha. What was that? Hyrudegarn's got to tag out. Gotenks. Dabs on him. It might just be a big... Oh, that... I don't know if that's their big tree cannon or not. Powering up. Super Saiyan. Super Gotenks. Came out to play. If the Giants weren't so good at tagging, this would be insanely close. See, big tree cannon... I thought big tree cannon was gold. Super Gotenks buffs himself a little bit, but those Key Blasts are putting in work. He wants to go sparking so bad, but the Giants never let him get there. This move's busted. I don't know if it works on big guys, though. It hits. A little bit of damage. Knocks Vegeta back. I think he kind of tried to block it, but that's usually an unblockable. Flex it on it. Blocks the attack, but he's down to one bar of health. Gotenks. Finally able to go sparking. Blocked. Counterattack? No counterattack. Go Tinks. Looking for his opening. I would like to see a big tree cannon. Maybe now. Maybe right now. Well, not now. Maybe right now. Not now. But up now, big tree cannon. Big tree cannon. You could big tree cannon. He waits. Let's Analzilla tag in. Then there's the big. See, the big tree cannon I know is golden. That's what I was waiting on. Analzilla actually having a hard time landing that first attack because Go Tinks is so small. And hitting him right there in his Daisy Dukes. Ooh, Gotenks doesn't tag out, and that's bad news for Team Little Guys. They just lost another member. MVP Goldo stepping out to play. Goldo knocks Analzilla away, begins charging. Goldo gonna go sparking. Would love to see Goldo throw a big wooden spike through this guy's chest. What the fuck is that move? It scared Analzilla away. Blue dude flew to a different county. Is it just Goldo and Bobbity left? I still think Goku's alive. I think Goku tagged out at one health. It's a close range move, I think. Okay. I wonder if it can even work on Giants. 
Paralysis Beam hits. Goldo, big kick. It was a good move. I kind of wish he would have charged after. Oh, it's just too much HP. You know, I, okay, so I'll say this. I don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of like having team fights where we don't see in, like certain players at all. However, maybe setting this up in a tournament mode. The only thing that sucks about doing it in a tournament mode is do we have to do it in a tournament map? Maybe we don't. Maybe not if I customize it. Anyways, I don't mind. I want to I want to experiment with turning off tagging out. I think tagging like turning off tagging out would make these fights go by a lot quicker and would keep some of them a lot closer. But on the flip side, I just don't want to have fights where we don't even see certain competitors. You know what I mean? Like, you know, UI Goku literally never steps on the field because Team Goku or whatever wins. Oh, that's fucking insane. What the fuck was that? Is he dead or did he tag out? That move was crazy. Hirudagarn in. Goldo actually blocked it. I thought Goldo was... That was his ult, and he's definitely dead. All right, Goldo versus the world. Once again, Goldo, MVP of Team Little Guy. Once again, Goldo, the only fighter remaining. Big Rock. And Hirudagarn looking for the kill, but how do you kill a being as fierce as Goldo? How do you kill someone so strong? Don't let him go. Don't let him go sparking, Goldo. Well, that's the class to go sparking and then tag out immediately. Goldo with literally one health. Is it Goldo and Vegeta again? They're doing this on purpose. Goldo blocks it. Literally one HP. And there he goes. Still alive? Well, you won't be for much longer. There he goes, and that is all she freaking wrote.